Welcome to my game. I'll be your host and humble narrator. The rules of this game are simple. Play it until the end and you'll be rewarded. This is Miss Fortune. She's a wonderful child from a not so wonderful family. A little sparkle for you, and a little sparkle for you, and a little bit for me. <laughs> oh, the sad part is today is the day she will die. Huh. I can hear you, you know. Oh, you can? Mm-hmm. Are you inside my head or something? Hmm. Well, okay. Yes. <laughs> All right. I'll call you Mr. Voice. What did you say about me dying today? Die? No. Nobody said anything about anyone dying today. Huh? <laughs> Nobody said nothing? You know, I have prepared a game for you. A game? Really? For me? If you can reach the end of the game, I'll give you eternal happiness. Deal? Eternal happiness? I guess I could give that to my mommy. Okay, it's a deal. Wonderful. Fantastic. Ready to play? Yes. Your first mission is to leave the house. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I like to move my body. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's the music that goes on forever. my secret hiding spot. Oh, impressive. But why do you need a hiding spot? I don't like it when mommy and daddy argue too much. And when I come here, I can dream and travel far away. I see. <laughs> this is my diary. Nobody is allowed to read it. Want to see?
This is my diary. Nobody is allowed to read it. Want to see? later I saw a monster in here once I showed it the finger and it never came back Before you leave which toy do you choose to bring with you Can't I take them both? No, you can only choose one. And remember, your choice is much more important than you think. Okay, I choose... I choose the stone that he threw at me once. Interesting choice. Yeah, I call him Stony, because he's a stone, get it? <laughs> Stony the stone. That's very clever. Thank you. Ah, a 
And so, you know, I like to sprinkle sparkle on things so they become fabulous. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Happiness to everything! Hey, you. On the other side of the screen. Remember I told you she was going to die today? Let's keep that a secret between us, all right? was a beautiful example of cause and effect. Please don't tell on me. Don't worry. You can trust me. Okay, thank you. Ugh. It smells like cigarettes in here. Yeah, that's my mommy. She also likes to drink juice a lot. <laughs> well, are you ready to complete your first mission? Yes, I am. I'm gonna get that prize. Oh, dead rabbits again? When will Daddy learn I like them alive? Afternoon, Miss Fortune. Ah, okay. Good afternoon, morning. Oh. <laughs> this is where I saw a really cute fox. I call him Benjamin. I've seen him around the house, right outside my window. <laughs> I think he's really cute. Please, Miss Fortune, you should be careful around wild animals. You shouldn't trust a fox. They're all criminals. What? A fox criminal? <laughs> That's silly. Hello, kitty. Here, come. Come, kitty. Kitty, kitty. Kitty! Damn it, I never get to pet the sweet animals. So, before we continue, you need to know the rules of the game, Miss Fortune. All right. Remember, you will be given choices on your journey. Okay, Susan. There is no right or wrong, only consequences. Okay, okay, only consequences. When you beat the game, the prize of eternal happiness is yours. I'm ready. Your next mission is to cross this road. All right, I can do that. Look to the left, look to the right. Any course? No. Okay, I'm going. What monster? I didn't see anything. It was there. I saw it. It's probably just your imagination. Yeah, that's true. I have a very big one. Just keep going. We'll have so much fun. All right. <laughs> Look, a sleepy bird. Come on, Miss Fortune. Let's go now. <laughs>
Sparkle back there. Anyway, where are we? Look, there's a puppy. Hello, puppy. What a cute party hat. Now focus, Miss Fortune. You have to make a very difficult choice regarding this puppy now. Be aware of the consequences. All right. We'll play with it, so we can share a nice time together. Good choice. Now, throw the ball at it. What ball? This ball. Ah, that ball. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Everything I touch breaks. What's wrong with me? There's nothing wrong with you. Sometimes life is just unfair. But I'm here for you. Really? Thank you. Well, sadly, the puppy will miss the party now. What party? The owner of this dog, George, is having a party. I think you have to go and tell him about the accident. What accident? Ah, yes, the puppy, yes. Let's go. It's just a bit farther ahead. All right. <laughs> oh, no, I step on Doogie Doo. So, Miss Fortune, at the other side of this lake, you will be one step closer to the prize of eternal happiness. And the party, right? Ah, yes, that too. You're in big trouble, Miss Fortune. Yeah, tell me about it. Where are these birds taking me? I have no idea, but you have to do something about it, fast. All right. Mummy told me once, if guys are annoying me, I should kick them in the balls. And I asked, where are these balls? And she said, between the legs. All right, that sounds like a plan. All right, here I go. Ball kick! <laughs> uh, this is taking 
taken a long time. We didn't even go that high up. Well, time seems to slow down when we are in danger. Am I in danger? Hey, look, a bird. Hello, bird. Oh, that was a rude bird. Why didn't I break my legs and die? Mm, you seem very good at falling. Thank you. <laughs> so, Mr. Voice, is the party on the same way to the eternal happiness? Yes. Yes, it is. Oh, that's convenient. Have you thought about how to break the news to George? About the puppy? Yes. I mean, if you want to. Yes, of course. That's the least I can do for the sweet puppy. That is very brave of you, Miss Fortune. Thank you. Oh, look! A boat! Hello! Are we there yet? Just a little bit farther away. Ah, okay. should we do about it? I'll keep it. His name is Rodrigo and he needs a new place to stay. I wonder if Rodrigo has heard about sushi. <laughs> it's like Rodrigo put in tiny pieces, you know? <laughs> And here we are, the house of George. I'm a bit nervous about introducing myself. You'll do fine. You're brave, telling the truth about the puppy. <laughs> Stop it. I'm doing it for the puppy, you know. <laughs> Nobody's answering. I'll invite myself in. Time to check out the party! Are you sure this is the right house? Where is the party? Hello? Excuse me, are you George? Are you the owner of a puppy? Because I bring really bad news. Oh no, wait. It looks like he hung himself. Hung himself? Like a piñata? Should I hit him like a piñata? No, Miss Fortune. He's dead. Dead? But he's wearing a pair of sweet boots. He, he can't be dead. Oh, okay. Hey, Miss Fortune, I think this party's over. Let's leave. I'll meet you in the back. George, you know, now that you're dead, your puppy is gone. I like the puppy. Bye. Shadam! Happiness to George the Piñata! <laughs> Let's go into the woods and get that eternal happiness. Yes! <laughs>